Hello YouTube, this is my first time making a video. Um, a lot of you have asked me for a video about um, how to make Tron effects, so I think it's finally time. So, with the big movie coming up this week, this this year, I'm very excited. Um, so, I'm going to make um, 10 tutorials, hopefully they won't be that long. I'm, ho I'm hoping for about 10 minutes each. Um, I'm going to break the tutorials up to setting up your workspace, and, um, applying seams to the model, uh, UV mapping the textures, um, drawing the textures, applying them, setting in the glowing effects, and then that that uh, beaming in effect that you saw on the video, I'm going to apply that and show you how to use that. That's using the 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 binary um, uh, the binary tool, and uh, then I'm going to show you how to apply rigging to the model, and we'll put some animation in there and some lighting, and if you follow it, you'll have the exact video that I had. Um, so let's get started. This is a model of a person. I kind of modeled it after myself. Yes, I am that ugly. That's what I look like. Not the body. I, not that muscular. Um, so um, first what I want to do is I want to set up the um, the environment. I personally um, I start off in this uh, you know this uh, sc screen setup, but I like to have three main windows. So you go up to this little tag up here, see the little plus sign. Go right above that, and you'll get a little cross. Drag it, and you'll get another one. Now this little object bar thingy, we don't need that because we already have one over here. So I'm going to move this over, and I'm going to do it one more time, and I got three. And what I like to do is I like to have my middle be my front, so that's pressing number one. This one be my side, and this one kind of be free floating. All right. So the first thing we need to do uh, is apply something called seams, um, and you apply these in edit mode. Uh, what these seams will do is they'll help us um, apply the UV mapping really, the UV unwrapping really easily. So how we do that is first we're going to click on the guy. Um, and before I do that, I'm just going to remove this little thing because it annoys me. I don't use it. Um, it does come in handy sometimes when you're rotating, but right now I don't need it. Okay, click on the guy. Notice that you're in object mode. And what we want to do is go to edit mode. Okay, first thing we notice is he got really rigid. That's because um, this model is using the subsurface modifier. You can find that over here. Uh, let's find modifiers. And you can see, oh, we're going to remove that amateur. It used to have an amateur. Um, uses the subsurface modifier. You can make it so you can see it during. Um, in edit mode, or you can turn it off and see the actual structures. The disadvantage is when you turn it off, see there's portions that go underneath and it's hard to see everything. Um, while we do seams, we'll leave it on for now because we just need to get a clear view of where all the points are. Okay, so the, uh, the idea of seams is kind of like seams in your clothes. What we need to do is we need to um, section off the body so that Blender can intelligently um, apply the seams. Ooh, ooh, this is, oh, before we get started with that, let me back up. There's a problem here. I just noticed it. Um, this, this is an entire model, and when we do seams and textures, um, a good way to get started is to only use half the model. So let's go about doing that. First, I'm going to change the perspective. So this way, it's not using um, depth. It's just, here's the layout. And we also, if I want to remove half, I need to be able to select half of the figure. So I'm going to select half of them. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to make sure I got half of them. And I'm going to say delete vertices. As you can see, half of them is gone. Don't worry, I've not ruined my model. I'm going to go over to this modifier. And then I want to add a modifier. 
Let's see here. What do I press? Oh, here we go. And I want to add mirror if I can find it. There it is. And there you can see the mirror is there. If I turn on regular, oh, you can see it in here. If I turn off edit mode, you'll be able to see it. Whoa, that's ugly. There you go. But when I go to edit mode, um, you can see only half of it is modifiable. We want this so that when I highlight here, um, the seam will apply to both sides, and we'll eventually remove the uh, remove the mirror. But it's going to come in handy in UV mapping and in rigging and a whole lot of things like that. All right. So once you select something like this, so I ringed around the arm, so I think that's a good seam area. We're going to hit Control E, and we're going to say Mark Seam. Notice it changes color. Don't worry, this doesn't affect your model in terms of uh, rigging or anything like that, just in terms of UV. So let's, you know, do the neck, because that's also a good place. And um, we'll do the head in a little bit. The head is a lot more complicated. You know, shirts normally have a seam that goes up here, separate the front from the back. Do the same from down here. So we can get all the way up there. Yes, we can. And just like a seam, uh, a shirt ends at the waist, this shirt will end at the waist. I guess it's a little bit down, it's right in his butt, but we'll, he'll forgive me. Okay, now we got a seam there. Um, now let's see. We're going to have to get a seam that goes down the side of his um, leg. Be careful not to click things. If you if you click on something you shouldn't, there's a couple ways to remove it. You can click on it again, or you can control uh, you can control Z, and that'll remove it. Um, oh, by the way, to select multi, I'm doing Shift and the right mouse button click, right mouse button clicker. So I'm gonna go all the way down, and I'm gonna stop. Actually, I'm gonna stop a little bit higher than that because I want to make a seam right here. Don't worry, you don't have to do, you don't have to highlight everything before you do the seam. Um, as long as, um, uh, what you're really doing is defining uh, the edges to be seams. So if you want to do like part of the leg and then save it, or the whole leg, uh, either one is good. So we're going to hit Control E, add seam again see if we got everything. See? Like we missed this edge. So we can add the seam there. Alright, let's add the pants seam. So we even have like a little underwear area. Ooh, see this this is uh this is a part of my model that's a little complicated. We'll go here. We'll go here. We need to make sure we connect um no YouTubers, I, this is me looking up the butt of my model. Sorry, I apologize for any discomfort. All right. All right, so that's, that's the body. As you see, we got the back, we got the front, we have, we separated the arm and the head. We have the underwear, the front of the leg, and the back of the leg. Um, let's do the arm real quick. Um. All right, let's get started. Okay, um, so we're onto the arm, and just like a sleeve, we want to cut the arm right here. Um, the big reason why we want to cut this is when it does the unwrap. Um, if it, if you can't see all of one, you know what you're encapsulating into a seam here, the unwrap's going to look funky, and we want the unwrap, uh, the unwrap to look to be as easy as possible for the computer. So um, think about that. So like when you're thinking about the inseam here, we want to go right up that line that we can hardly see. So I think it aligns right with this guy. So we're going to go all the way up. Boom, boom. And I guess it connects right there. And it's important to get it all the way connecting. Alright, so let's seam that. Control E, 
mark seam again. So then we, there we go. Um, now let's get to the hand. The hand is a little bit more complicated. Um, but we'll follow the same pattern. Let's continue this seam down the side of the hand. Now sometimes if you want to make it go a little bit fast, uh, you can do control click. I'll show you that in another day. Right now my model doesn't seem to work without algorithm. You can Ooh, see here's a problem. If I seamed here it would make these individual seams, and we don't want to do that. So let's unselect these for the moment. And I don't really see too much of a way around it because it looks like that shape is just a just a square. I know it looks doesn't look like a square, but if I turn the subsurface off, all it is is a square all the way back. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a seam here, and then we'll have to continue. That way it won't highlight the um, the faces, because if it highlights the faces, the seam is not going to apply properly. So, oh, there we go again. So let's do the seam. Sorry if this is uh, slow. Um, comment if uh, you want me to somehow speed past this section. Um, or if you prefer me actually going through the whole thing. Um, or if you know a trick away around this, that also would be helpful. I always appreciate uh, tips and tricks. Most of the stuff I've learned is just watching videos either off of uh, Blender.org or um, off of YouTube. And I've learned wonderful things from uh, different Blender people out there. Okay, almost done with the hand. Alright, let's, let's mark that. So, we've now done the top layer. Now the problem is this is yeah see this because I used squa squares we have a problem the bottom is going to go and the top is going to go but we're going to have these little fatty areas I think we should be good for now I'm going to try it and we'll correct it later if it doesn't work all right so next thing is the head let's do the jaw separate this is the neck separating the neck from the head all right now we need to separate the ear why the ear well the ear is such a funky thing that sits out of the side of the head that we don't want it to affect the rest of the model oh see we can't get to all the pieces um i really want to go in there let's see here i need to get behind this guy don't want to go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see this particular model does something funky to make the ear go in, um, and we get this little side effect here. I can fix that later, but for you guys, don't worry about it. Um, so I'm gonna make a seam there, and I'm also gonna make a seam. This is a little bit for myself to separate the inner ear from the outer ear, because the inner ear, the texture, uh, the textures I'm gonna give it probably going to be different than the outer ear. I, I probably care less about the inner ear. Okay. Um, now, we want the face to work just like this. So let's pick apart the face that we want. So I'm going to make this a seam. And hopefully, it'll get the whole face as one shot. Now, we do have a problem with the nose, because it will overlap. So, we have two choices. Um, we'll see how it turns out with the... Uh, look at this guy. I forgot to remove him. So, let's kill him. Remember, because we are using mirror, so we don't want anybody on this side of the x-axis. Alright, let's just to confirm nobody's over there. Oh, see, there's some guys hiding there. What I did was I changed the view. You can just click here to change the view from solid to um, polygony or wireframe. Okay. So, let's see here. So 
if I go from the front, just double check, everything is in one. If I go from the bottom of the jaw, by the way, easy ways to move this is press one for front, three for side, seven for top. So here's the side of the head. It all looks like it would be one piece. And we're good to go. Oh, we forgot the feet. So let me just do the feet and then we'll call it a quit for this first tutorial. Okay, we'll continue. Let's see what we want to do. Whoops. Oh, one other thing. Sometimes when you're moving around, you get unfocused. A good way to do that is to press the um, the decimal next to the zero on the number pad. That will refocus on whatever you're selecting, which comes in really handy. Okay, so let's separate this a little bit differently from the leg. Let's do side and side. Because I think that'll make a good separation. Hmm. And you know what? Let's not go through the sole. Let's make the sole its own seam. Kind of like a tennis shoe, really. Um, okay, we'll go like that for now. And then we'll come up the back. Add the seam. Almost there. Oh, we can't do that. So let's make this first. And then we'll make it here. Okay. So let's see, I got the front, I got the bottom, and I got the back. The only thing left are these toes. See if I did it like this or if I did it like if see what's gonna happen is the UV map is gonna kinda take a shot. It's gonna try to make this onto a 2D texture. That's what UV mapping does so you can draw an image on it. But whenever one seam definition includes something that you can't see in the shot, so you c I can't see this little back side of the toe here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out weird. So uh, one thing we could do is we could separate the toes, or let's see if we can, we'll unseam this. And let's see here. What can we possibly do? Well, for now, because I don't want to waste your time, I'm going to seem like this. Whoa, don't do that. Okay, sorry about that. So that way that inside is its own seam. And we'll, we'll deal with that. That'll be a little patch. Okay, so that is how you apply seams to your model. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to um, start the next one, which will be UV mapping. Okay, thank you. Oh, and always control S. And let's save this as making of Tron effect. All right. Always save. You should have saved more than I did. Thanks. Bye.